What's going on guys? So in front of me, you were looking at one really cool product and one that I think a lot of people anticipated me actually showing. Now I'm not gonna be able to review this product in terms of performance because I actually don't have a trailer to review it on. But when I got a notification that I had a new item to pick up, uh, I went and picked it up and check out what it is. So this is the Waysafe Middleweight Weight Distribution Hitch Setup. And this is really cool because a lot of folks probably saw the video I did with their heavyweight setup, and it's the True Toe Heavyweight System. Uh, that system is really, really cool, but it's it's heavy. It is, and it's, it's really, really great for those heavier trailers because you have the capacities you need to be able to support it. But some folks are looking for something that's designed for more of a middleweight size trailer. The heavyweight system actually has a gross trailer weight capacity of 15,000 pounds with a 2-inch shaft and 20,000 pounds with the 2.5-inch shaft. A maximum tongue weight of 1,500 pounds on a 2-inch shaft and 2,000 pounds on the 2.5-inch shaft. And the system itself weighs between 133 to 146 pounds. So it's certainly a heavy, heavy weight system. But again, a lot of folks wanted something a little bit lighter in weight, something that's designed for more of your mid-size trailers, nothing that's super huge or super heavy. So they created a middleweight version of their True Tow product. This is really cool, and I can actually attest to the fact that this thing is significantly lighter weight. Okay, so here are the specs. So you can get the shank right here, the drop portion, in either a 4, 6, 8, or 10 inch drop, which should accommodate most trailers, most trucks, and the height difference you're going to need to adjust between the two. Um, it can support either a 2 or a 2.5 inch shank. It's going to come with the 2 and 5 16 inch ball. It's not interchangeable, so you're not going to be able to change this out to like a 2 inch ball. But depending on the shank you get, you can actually get up to 8,500 pounds or 12,500 pounds in terms of towing capacity. Now, from a tongue weight perspective, you can get up to 850 pounds if you're getting the 8,500 pound spring bars on the tongue, or 1,250 pounds if you go with the 12,500 pound spring arms. This specific one that you see in front of us is the 8,500 pound rated head setup right there. You can see on the sticker. The ball is stainless steel, which a lot of people appreciate. Love the uh, the way safe scale on the side as well. And these things aren't only just really well designed, but they actually look really nice too. When you get one of these, you unbox it, you can absolutely see the quality in the welds. Just the overall construction is absolutely fantastic. Now the weight, let's talk about that. So these are about 20 to 25 pounds lighter than the heavyweight counterpart. So if you, again, you don't need that super heavyweight capability if you're pulling around a 6,000 pound trailer, 5,500 pound trailer, a 7,000 pound trailer, this system should be absolutely the system you look at from Waysafe. It's gonna weigh less, it's gonna cost you a few hundred dollars less versus the heavyweight system, and it's gonna have bars that are more dialed into the specific trailer you have. Now, a lot of folks, whenever they look at weight distribution setups, they try to get the highest capacity version of a hitch, even though their trailer may not weigh very much. And there's problems with that. You should not get a weight distribution hitch that is so significantly higher in terms of capacity than the trailer you plan on towing. Let me give you an example. Let's say you have a, a Jayco travel trailer that has a 7,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating and a 6,000 pound dry weight or 5,500 pound dry weight. So it's got 1,500 pounds worth of payload capacity or cargo capacity. But you're like, you know what? I don't get anything small. I'm gonna order the 12,500 pound weight distribution setup with the 12,500 pound spring arms on it because overkill's better. I never have to worry about anything. That may be true in terms of tow vehicle, but that's certainly not true in terms of hitches. Well, some hitches. Now, if you're just gonna get a standard drop hitch, a standard non-weight distribution hitch, yeah, get the heaviest duty one you wanna get that's definitely not gonna be a problem. But when you're talking about weight distribution setups, you wanna make sure that the spring bars right here are rated to as close to the gross vehicle weight rating of your trailer as possible. So again, maximum trailer weight, 8,500 pounds. So I would get this system for a trailer that weighs from 8,500 pounds all the way down to about 6,000 pounds. It's gonna be dialed in really close to what you're looking for. The main reason why 
is because these spring bars are actually designed to act like a spring. Once you insert them into the ends of your hitch head right here, they're going to actually act as a spring. If they're too tight, then what's going to happen is they're not going to flex the way that they're designed to. They're not going to travel or move the way that they're designed to. And you can actually end up not having the type of weight distribution or sway control that you're looking at if you go too large. So again, when it comes to weight distribution hitches, when it comes to this type of setup, it's always good to try to get the setup as close to the rating of your trailer as possible. Sorry if it's noisy, all the cicadas decided to wake up all of a sudden. Now what's really cool about this specific setup, again, if you're looking at a trailer that's anywhere between, let's just say under 8,500 pounds, down to about 5,000 pounds, this should be a very adequate setup for you. And you can even go higher than that if you get the higher rated version of this. But again, this is a really, really good setup. Um, what's nice about this is how it works. So essentially, once you follow the instructions, you put your L brackets on your trailer, you insert these into the hitch head, your spring arms into the hitch head, you determine exactly how high or if this is going to be in a rise position or a drop position, you take all your measurements. Once you figure all that out and it comes time to actually load the weight of these bars onto the L brackets of your trailer, and what that essentially means is... Once these are inserted into here, your A-frame of your trailer's right here. These run down the side. They set on those L-brackets that attach to the side of your A-frame of your trailer. As that pressure pushes down, that's your sway control. You're going to have some sway control right here in the hitch head, and you're also going to have sway control with this downward pressure. Basically, as you apply weight for weight distribution, that weight also acts as the weight that creates friction to give you sway control. And that friction basically prevents the truck and trailer from hinging like this. So when wind hits it, so it doesn't hinge right in the center where the hitch is, this creates pressure, and that pressure equates to friction, and that friction makes the truck and trailer track together so they don't hinge. I hope that all makes sense. I've made a lot of videos on this topic before, so definitely go back and check out weight distribution, big truck, big RV, and you'll find a lot of those videos. So this works in a very similar fashion to many other weight distribution hitches out there. You have friction right here, and you also have friction on the L brackets that come out. Now, where this differs from most weight distribution systems, aside from the other one that they produce as well, the heavyweight system, is this system gives you the ability to dial in that pressure that's actually being applied to the front A frame section, utilizing the actual way safe scale right here, or the gauge right here, and this right here. I love that they put a grease cirque here, and they also put a grease cirque on the other side, which is really nice. But once you get the spring bars loaded up, once you have everything kind of dialed in according to the instructions, and it's now time to load the weight and start transferring weight from the back of your truck or the front of your trailer to the back of your trailer and the front of your truck, basically you start that process of distributing weight where it needs to go, you tighten or loosen this to increase or decrease the hitch head angle, which when you increase the angle, or decrease it, whatever you want to call it, you basically make these bars press harder or relieve pressure off of the L brackets on the trailer. So this is where you make your weight distribution setup, and you can dial it in perfectly to where you have just the right amount of hitch head weight, and you have just the right amount of weight distribution to the front of your truck or the back of your trailer. It's really ingenious what they've done here, and it, it is such a great idea to have both a middleweight version as well as a heavyweight version of this hitch, because it's just going to give you more peace of mind when it comes to towing. There's so many folks who, who set up a weight distribution hitch incorrectly, and it doesn't provide the sway control that they're looking for. It doesn't provide the weight distribution that they're looking for. And they think it's a problem with the actual hitch when nine out of 10 times it's a problem with how it was set up. And what's really nice about this is once you get it set up properly in terms of installing the L brackets on your trailer, getting all of, again, the rise or the drop of your shank, how high this needs to go. On many other weight distribution setups, you have to put washers or spacers in and you set this hitch head angle up and you have to raise the trailer up, drop everything down. And if you're wrong, you have to raise it up again and kind of reset that process. It's a very lengthy process. With this one, once you have everything in place and your measurements are correct, instead of having to put washers in or spacers to adjust your hitch head angle, you adjust it from right here by simply turning this or rotating 
this piece right here. So it's a really, really good design. And I know for some folks who are new to weight distribution hitches, they're going to be like, man, this is so confusing. I wish you'd put it on a trailer. Believe it or not, when you actually put it on a trailer and you show someone it's still kind of confusing, the reality of this is it's a great design and it works really well. And it's designed specifically to make the process of transferring weight to your L brackets and your spring bars, as well as moving weight around from the front or back of your truck, from the back to the front of your truck or the front to the back of your trailer, it makes that process a lot easier. Weight distribution setups in general are relatively complex in terms of setup, and they usually take an hour or two to get set up if you've done it for the first time. If you've done it before, it probably still takes you a little while because you got to bolt L brackets onto your A-frame, and you have to measure heights, and you have to make sure you kind of dial everything in. But this setup right here certainly makes the process a little easier, and it gives you some really, really good information related to how much weight you're actually applying to the back of your truck after you've dialed in weight distribution. But again, most hitches like this are going to provide weight distribution and sway control through the same mechanical process. Basically, the weight that applies to the L brackets is also the weight that it requires to create friction for sway control. Anyways, guys, um, as soon as I get a trailer I can put this on and I can demonstrate it, I will demonstrate it to you. I just, I don't have a trailer right now, and it's cool that manufacturers send me products. Uh, sometimes these are products that I contact them about and I want to learn more information. I'm like, man, I'd love to love to see that, and then I end up getting it in the mail. Um, I really, really appreciate the folks over at Waysafe. They've been a great partner to the channel, and they've provided me a lot of really cool products to, uh, to showcase to you guys. But just like a lot of the other stuff I, I get, sometimes it has to go into kind of a holding pattern before I have a, an actual application for it. But super cool. Big shout out to the folks over at Waysafe. Truly appreciate you guys for, uh, for providing this for review and evaluation. Once I get a trailer to put it on and dial it in, I am absolutely going to do it. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.